Jennifer Ann Wilson in Oakland County, Michigan at the Hollyoaks ORV Park for Detroit Four Fest. It is back and better than ever. And coming up, I'm going to give you a preview to all the action, maybe even stir up a little action myself. I'm Tom Zielinski, founder of Detroit Four Fest. We've been at this for four years. This is year four. It's remarkable how it's changed. We started off with the idea of being a fun little off-road event. And now, as you guys have seen, we've got a vendor village that runs a half a mile in each direction. We give people a reason to say, wow, I've never done that before, but it looks fun. Let's go out and try it. Whether you're an experienced off-road driver and crawling over logs through mud pits is just a typical Saturday afternoon for you, or you're very inexperienced, or you generally drive your vehicle on the road, but you do have an SUV and some buttons or modes you've never used before and aren't quite sure what they do, this event is for you. Detroit Four Fest has something for everyone to see, experience, learn, and explore. From the toughest off-road racing series on the planet, King of the Hammers Ultra Four race trucks are here, and this one is electric. They'll all be hitting the dirt, putting on demos on and off throughout the weekend. You won't want to miss it. Plus, you'll see demos of the latest equipment, gear, there's off-road skills workshops, trail rides, and so much more. You may be wondering, what if I don't have a four-wheel drive? Can I still come? The answer is a yes. I just borrowed one from Jeep, and they'll let anyone drive. Really, seriously, if you have a valid driver's license, they'll give test drives out there on the course. Jeep has got a whole slew of vehicles right over there. They're going to take everybody out and show them what this is like, and maybe that will be something that triggers them to say, wow, I'm going to go give this a try because it really is fun and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Straight up, I can't see it. Oh, okay. my gosh. And then now straight oh my down. gosh. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my gosh. You're you guys, are you okay? No, you're good. Oh my gosh, right, I can't see the other end. Slow down this hill okay. here. You're all right. Keep going. You're good. <laughs> wow. That was like all sky. Wow. This is the adult roller coaster. Four Fest is great for us because number one, it helps celebrate the Jeep community and gets Jeep drivers together and they get to show their latest uh, upfits, their latest wares, and, and really just enjoy Jeeps in their natural environment. Actually, what most people are waiting and can't wait to experience is the 4xe technology. Our electrification of Jeep is really taking our, our legendary 4x4 technology to the next level. And it's not just the, uh, the, the, the instant torque and the capability, it's doing it in complete silence like, there you go. There goes a, uh, a, a Wrangler, um, and you, all you could hear was the tires. If you put J-E-E-P on the hood, it's got to be a real Jeep, or our enthusiasts and our, and our followers would kill us. Detroit Four Fest is powered by Jeep, but of course other makes and models are welcome too, so bring your GMC, your Toyotas, even your Ford Broncos. Just don't be surprised if you hear somebody say this. Jeep vehicles, hands down, the best. They're better because we spend all of our time with the four-wheel drive systems. They actively manage the torque, they move it around, and customers don't care about all the things that we do to make them better. They just expect that from Jeep. Yeah, baby. It's all good nature competition so far, though. You've heard the phrase, a rising tide raises all ships. Well, it turns out the ORV segment. It's amazing how much it's grown. We all know that there's a whole range of things surrounding the pandemic that were not good but it got a lot of people outside experiencing the outdoors and they're out doing it in their Jeep. Maybe they're in their Bronco, whatever that might be, but it's grown enormously. Wrangler has just had the best uh, sales it's had in its history in the first half of the year. Uh, now, and it's even the best market share that's ever had. Detroit Four Fest offers a great off-roading trail system, including beginner and advanced obstacles, hill climbs, mud pits, and so, so much more. Plus, there'll be workshops for winching and recovery, as well as beginner workshops to learn how to use the functions of your vehicle and safely maneuver the course and have the ultimate amount of fun. By the way, Hollyoaks ORV Park, which is where we're at, is officially listed on the Jeep Badge of Honor mobile app, and the difficulty level 
is moderate to demanding. It's so cool, you definitely don't want to miss it. Jeep and Detroit Four Fest have partnered with the nonprofit Tread Lightly to help maintain the trails and spread their mission of educating drivers on where and how to off road while protecting the ecosystem and the wildlife living on or near the trails. And you know what they say, you gotta start them young. And you can never start too early learning to enjoy the great outdoors and be a good steward. So, Jalen Rose Academy brought students from Detroit to go on a wild and fun tour of Holly Oaks, another community partnership of Jeep and Detroit Four Fest. Yeah. They know that that one's the 392, so they're all over that. It's just great to connect with these kids. You know, we're trying to get them to be part of the Jeep team because they're, uh, they're growing up and, and they've been part of the Jeep team as we've done this a couple of times now. And, uh, and now, you know, I'm sure we'll have uh, some of his academy members on the Jeep team here soon. You can check out all the latest models of vehicles and the new products. And if you don't want to get on the road, you can at least get behind the wheel of a brand new Jeep. Check out the event details on the website at DetroitFourFest.com. It's happening all weekend. You can bring the whole family. I like this one.